Hello everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Hari Krishna. In this session, we are going to discuss different environments exist in software industry. When you are developing a project and further after a development, when before you hand over into the customer, after hand over in the customer, hand over to the customer. So, there are totally three environments exist in the company. So, this is the terminology we use in our uh, software company. So, there are totally three environments exist. Number one, development environment. Number two, testing environment. And number three, production environment. So, environment is nothing but a place where uh, some people are working for completing one task. So, in company, assume this is your company premises. Inside company, once you enter, okay, uh, the company place, uh, the premises is divided into some blocks. Okay. Uh, then try to observe. Here in this block area, uh, there are several developers are occupy the place and they are working in their computers to develop a new project. Then this environment is called development environment. So, what happened in the development environment? Every developer has their own computer and all developers are connected to one common server computer. So, each and every individual developers computers plus the common server computer through to which they are connected this all these together this environment together we call what development environment. Okay. Then after the development completed what they will do all these developers will copy their module code into the common server development machine we call it as common server copied and then all their modules are testing from the development server computer. If their module code is working fine then they will check into uh, a CVS computer or what nowadays you are using SVN computer, CVS or SVN computer committed and making that code ready for other people to access. So, I would like to repeat once again what the meaning of development environment. Developer computers plus and their connected server computer together called what development environment. Every developer will develop the code for their assigned task and after their task completed they will come they will copy their code from their development computer into the common server computer and along with this other test other developers uh, code they will test their module functionality if their module functionality working fine then they will commit their code into the cvs machine or svn machine another repository computer will be there in the industry so, CVS machine or SVN machine is nothing but a database kind of computer where our source file we will be saving. So, that other, other uh, developers will down, uh, will check out your code and then they will update in their project environment. Okay, fine. After the development completed, this entire project will be hand over to testers. Okay. Then, how this entire project hand over to testers? Same architecture once again will be repeated. What is that? Uh, now, there are several testers are there. They have their own individual PCs. All their PCs are connected to one common server computer again. Now, our project is copied into server computer asking every tester to access that project. Then, now each tester will be assigned with some functionality testing. Then, this tester accessing our project from the server computer from their browser and testing that functionality whatever they have assigned. If all the functionality working fine, they will approve this part is ok, no bugs are there, no issues are there. Like after all the testers are uh, giving the approve that every functionality working fine. Now, what happened? This project jar file or zip file or installer file whatever is now handovering to customer. So, now our project from the development machine it is moved to testing machine. Uh, in the testing machine all the testers are approved that all the functionalities are working fine. Now, it will be passed to the customer computer. Okay, hand over to customer. Now, customer is also having their own server machine. In this server machine, finally, project is deployed. And then, after project deployed, they have their own clients, right? Customer will contain their own clients, his own client. Then, customer clients will start accessing the project and testing all the functionality with the real data. The 
place the, the customer computer in which the customer server computer in which we copied our project that is called production environment because there our project is used for producing some uh, okay, transactions like money related, selling and buying related. So, that is why it is called production system. For example, let me take one small example. Um, let me take uh, uh, flipkart.com as an example. Now, tell me first flipkart company hand over the project development flipkart app development to one software company. In that software company now uh, developers are working to develop a flipkart project. Then each and every module relate uh, the project divided into multiple modules. Each and every module developed by individual developers. Then all the developers develop a modules are copied into one common computer that is called development computer. After their individual testing completed this entire project is hand over to testers available in that particular software company. After the testers also approved that uh, project is working fine. Now, this software company hand over the project to Flipkart company. Right? Then Flipkart company taking that project and install into one server okay, which is can be accessible throughout the world. Now, you are a client to the Flipkart company now. You are accessing Flipkart server, Flipkart app either through mobile or whatever browser list bother. Then you are checking what are the different products available. You wanted to buy a mobile, then mobile uh, I, uh, mobile menu you are clicking and selecting different mobiles available and among them one of the mobile which you like you are selecting and buying. So, the project which was there in the software company now came into the Flipkart company server computer. That server computer is called production system. In the production system, now the project is used by the clients throughout the world for doing their transaction buying and selling. I hope you got some idea now, right? So, I would like to you people identify some important points here. Uh, fine, try to think. In a development environment, what is happening? Please try to tell me. In a development environment, what is happening? Developer developing the project related code, then further compiling and further executing to test it is working fine or not. The next term in a testing environment what testers are doing they are just executing to check, check functionality working fine or not. In a production environment what they are doing clients throughout the world different clients are accessing the project to do the transaction means again they are also what they are doing execution. So, based on this can you please tell me one easy idea, one idea can you please tell me. In a development environment, in all developers computers, which software we should install either JDK or JRE? Please try to answer. In a development environment computers, either a developer computer or a common server computer, what should I install? I must install JDK because developers are responsible for a develop, compile and execute. And next, uh, tell me now, in a testing environment, might be by this term you are ready with your answer. In a testing environment computers, in tester computers and tester uh, related common server computer, what should we install? JDK or JRE? Analyze and tell me JDK or JRE. JRE is sufficient, no need to install JDK. JRE is sufficient. Uh, next, in the production environment, what should we install? In a production environment, also clients are accessing project and running the project. So, JRE is sufficient. I hope you are catching my point, right? And very, very important point developer environment JDK, tester environment JRE, and production environment also you must install JRE. This is the basic idea you must. Uh, uh, get at this minute. Okay. So, in previous session we discussed uh, two important points. How many types of softwares we have? We have two types of softwares are there JDK and JRE. Okay. JDK meant for developing projects and JRE meant for running the projects. So, then we discuss uh, what are the complete details about differences between JDK, JRE, JVM and JIT. So, next now in this session we wanted to identify in the real life, in the software industry, real computers, what we should install. Uh, there are three people are there, developers are there, testers are there, clients are there. In the developer computer we should install JDK, in a tester computer and a uh, client computer, in production environment client computer we have to install what sir? JRE. Please try to recollect once again the point here. In a development environment we have developer computers and all these three developer computers are commonly connecting to server computer. Please realize one important point here. 
ok. So, this is a development environment, uh, these are uh, client computers let us say client computers and this is what server computer ok, client means here developer whatever, developer computer and server computer. In this computer, in the developer computers, we should install JDK, in the server computer also we should install JDK, ok fine. Now, my question is, if you consider testing environment, now this is the tester computer and this is a tester accessing server computer, please try to concentrate here. In the tester computer, JRE sufficient, but in server computer, you must install JDK only, not JRE. If you install JRE, it is not sufficient. Why? Listen. In the tester, as a tester what he is doing, either in his own computer or in server computer, definitely he will access our project what we develop. He is not going to develop, change the code or not compiling. But still you have to install JDK in the server computer because listen carefully, uh, a project is developed by using server side executing programs, what servlet and uh, next what JSP. Uh, next to core java core java concepts and uh, next jdbc okay every project contains these are the four concepts at server side executing servlet jsp core java and jdbc here very important point you have to notice servlet is a regular java program core java based application is a regular java program jdbc is also a regular java program but jsp is not a regular java program it is a combination of html plus java program so, what we do in the projects development, servlet program we will compile and copy, core java based on normal applications we will compile and place in the server computer, JDBC applications also we will compile and place, but listen carefully, JSP program we will directly place source code not compiled code, what the point try to catch my point, servlet compiled code and core java also compiled code and JDBC is also compiled code. We will place compile and place, but whereas JSP will place source code directly, it will be JSP file is compiled and executed at the time of execution time, it is not at the time of development, at the time of development directly will place that is the mechanism of JSP. So, a lot of advantages are there that we will understand in advanced ever session by your respective faculties. At this minute, what the point you have to understand JSP according to its architecture, you have to copy JSP in the source file format. So, please try to analyze, if you place a JSP in the source file format, then how it can be executed here? It should be compiled, if you want to compile in the server computer, what should be available? Compiler, compiler is available with JRE or JDK, JDK. So, in a server computer, you must install JDK in a development environment, in the testing environment and also in the production environment, in a server computer, you must install JDK, remember. So, if you install JRE in server computer, JSP files cannot be compiled, final or project execution fail. So, final conclusion point what? We have two types of JD, Java software, JDK and JRE. In a development environment, in a developer computers and in server computer, both the places you have to install JDK. In the testing environment, in a tester computers, you must install JRE and in a server computer, you have to install JDK for JSP reason. In the production environment also, in the client computers, you have to install JRE, but in production server computer also, you must install JDK for the sake of JSP, ok. So, this is the basic idea. I hope till now all you people comfortable, ok. Then, one more small change introduced to the Java language, very interesting. I will ask one question, try to think. After you listen entire discussion, you must get one question. I am, I am accessing so many websites, gmail.com I access, facebook.com I access, uh, oilx.com access, flipkart.com access, amazon.com access, nareshit.com access, so many websites I have accessed. In my computer, I never install JRE software, but in this video you are telling, in your computer, client computer I should install JRE. I am accessing so many websites but I never install JRE, but in this video I am addressing JRE install, JRE install, you must get this doubt. Very interesting, listen carefully. 
as per the modern web applications development from Java point of view, in a client computers you no need to install JRE. So, your concentration is only on server computer, no need to worry about client computer. In a client computer, you no need to install anything means in the tester computer and in the production client computers, you no need to install JRE because the reason the program you are getting into your computer, the downloading program server to client computer coming program is HTML but not Java based. In beginning days of Java, program downloading from the server computer to your client computer is applet, applet which is a Java program. To run this Java program, we need JRE. But nowadays according to modern web applications development, we are not using applet based on the performance issues point of view and security point of view. People are using nowadays only HTML to develop client side executing applications. Because HTML execution does not require JRE, only browser is sufficient. That is why what you do? In your computers, you no need to install JRE software. Only in the server computer J JDK software installation is completed. So, now I want to once again update this entire points. Uh, what the point? There are three environments are there. Development environment, testing environment, production environment. In the beginning days of Java launched into the market, you have to install JRE in the client computer, JDK in the server computer. But latest according to the latest web applications development, website development point of view, client side executing applications are developed by using HTML. So, you no need to install JRE software in the client computers, only how to install JDK in the server computer. From this entire discussion, the summary point what I would like to tell you, in the development environment, in the developer computers and in the server, uh, in the server computer of the developer computers, you must install JDK confirm. In the testing environment, tester computers you no need to install anything, but in the tester accessing server computer wherever project install and executing, there you have to install JDK for server side components execution. In the production environment, uh, client computers means your computers, the people who are accessing our project throughout the world, in those computers you no need to install any JRE or nothing because HTML is the coming program. But the production system server computer, you have to install JDK for running server side applications like Servlet, Core Java, JDBC and JSP programs. So, this is the summary point about different, different environments exist in the ser uh, servers in software industry and in the respective computers. What I should install JDK or JRE. I hope you enjoyed the discussion. Please listen once again, try to understand. Okay? A very, very important discussion it is from the real time software projects development point of view. This topic is very, very important. If you listen and remember, even though you are pressure, if you listen and remember, the moment you get the job and get into the company, all this terminology will be very comfortable to in the company. In a company, your managers and your leads and your team members definitely will use these words. That time you do not get confusion if you listen these words. Okay. Please try to concentrate once again, listen and remember share this knowledge to your friends so that you will be more comfortable in this terminology. Thank you for watching this session and in the next session we are going to see how to install JDK software because we are the developers, we should install JDK. So, how to install JDK softwares we are going to learn in the next session. Okay. Subscribe to Nadeshati channel for more videos, updates. Thank you. See you in the next session. Thank you.